Welcome back to my channel, Den and Vixen. It's Kathy. And as you can see, today we finally have the little Christmas theme working back here. Um, I'm kind of sporting a, I won't say a no makeup look, but a very minimal makeup look. Um, definitely no glamour. And um, the reason for that is, um, well, it's my day off. I'm running errands. And I kind of noticed that my roots were showing just a little too much. My gray roots were popping through. And I'm telling you, these um, gray roots are coming through so much faster now. If only my hair had grown this fast back when I was younger, trying to have long, glamorous locks, um, I would have been a much happier person back then. <laughs> now I kind of like to keep my hair a little shorter since I'm a little older. But I also would like to keep it, um, you know, one color instead of um, brown and gray. So I usually use my Revlon Color Silk um, in dark brown, which is kind of my tried and true holy grail um, hair color. I use half a bottle of that just to touch up my gray roots every two to three weeks, depending on how fast they grow in. Sometimes I try to go four um, if I can, you know, if I can stretch it. But every now and then I like to mix it up a bit and try something Different. Usually when I color my hair, I like to just touch up the root area because when you do pull the hair color through to the ends of your hair, a lot of times it dries out your hair. And you know, once again, we get to be, oh, a woman of a certain age, you don't want your hair dried up because it just looks frizzy and ugly. So I try to hold that off as long as I can. But a lot of times the hair color does tend to fade throughout your hair. So it, it might need to pull it through to the ends every now and then so when I do pull that color through I like to try different brands so today I decided to try the Garnier Olea it says it's an oil powered permanent hair color made of 60% oil which I guess is supposed to keep your hair nice and moisturized instead of drying it out it has no ammonia which is a good thing because I think the ammonia is what dries your hair out as well and um, what else does it say on here visibly improves and restores hair well hey if you can visibly improve and restore your hair while coloring it and touching up all your gray roots why not go for it today i'm using the 4.0 dark brown which is the color of my choice i like to go for the dark brown look and um yeah let's see what happens let's see if it really does um give me pure vivid long lasting color softer shinier hair with bounce and 100 percent gray coverage let's open it up and see what comes in the box so the first thing in the box is this funky applicator so this should be interesting i've read reviews that said this applicator is actually kind of hard to use so i'm going to try it and let you know how um how hard or how easy it is it actually is to use you get your developer it's two ounces of developer. This is a really big uh, tube of developer. So we'll see how that works. And your colorant. So this must be the actual hair color, the 4.0 dark brown. And for after coloring, you get your conditioner. I've got the instructions here, along with some funky black gloves, which is kind of neat, kind of different. Usually you get clear gloves or white gloves, but with Olea, you get black gloves. Basically what the instructions say for a root touch up is to apply color to your roots, let it sit for 20 minutes, then go back and apply the rest of the hair color to the rest of your hair for another 10 minutes, rinse out, um, use your hair conditioner and um, rinse that out, then dry style as usual, and then you should have beautiful hair. So I'm gonna go color my hair. I'll be back in a little bit and I will let you know how I like it. Okay, I am back. I have just colored, I've conditioned, I've um, styled my hair. I used very, very little product. I used just a tiny, tiny bit of Elnet hairspray to kind of keep my hair in place. But other than that, when I do videos um, reviewing different hair color products, I don't really like to put a lot of product on my hair when styling because I want you to see the actual results. I apologize, the sun's starting to set. It's only four o'clock, but you know, it's this time of year, the sun goes down early, so I had to turn some lights on. But you can see um, the color came out really pretty. But I'm going to tell you, overall, I don't feel like my hair is super conditioned. I don't feel like it's super soft. Um, I'm sure the color will hopefully 
last a while. It did cover all of my grays, but quite honestly, I don't know that I'm super crazy about this Olea. I was expecting super shiny, soft hair, and to me, it's just okay. I got better results with the Vidal Sassoon hair color that I did a um, review on a while back where you put the oil in the product. The application process is a little weird because it doesn't have a like a bottle with a, a squeeze bottle like um, most other hair colors do. You're just supposed to like rub it in with your hands, stir it up in a bowl and throw it on your head. But the color came out a lot prettier. My hair came out a lot softer and shinier and silkier. Um, I would say the Garnier Olea, the, like I said, the color is pretty, the grays are covered, but honestly, I don't love it. So I don't know that I'm gonna repurchase this particular product again. I think I'm gonna stick with my Revlon Color Silk. Um, for the price, I don't remember what the price was on this. I wanna say maybe eight, nine dollars. Revlon Color Silk I can buy for $3 a bottle. And um, the color comes out better, the um, hair comes out silkier and shinier, and quite honestly, I'd say overall, it's a better product. I'll do a follow-up to this video in my next video. It'll just be included in either my empties video or my um, my year-end favorites video. And I'll let you know how I'm feeling, if I'm still kind of feeling the same way about the product. But overall, I'm not gonna give it a thumbs down because it is, you know, it's okay. But um, I'm just gonna give it a like a, mm, maybe a sideways thumbs, a meh. I'm not gonna give it a thumbs up. So um, that's how I feel about the Garnier Olea. If you enjoy this video, if you'd like more reviews, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you like my channel and haven't already, please subscribe, leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching.